I'm just trimming my muff. Welcome back to Weebrun Van. We're off on our travels again and today we're going to be heading off to a campsite called Dockray Meadows. Um, now it's down near Cockermouth in the Lake District which is notorious for its weather and its rain. <laughs> Talking of which, we have packed the van up, we're fully laden and it was chucking it down. Absolutely torrential rain when we were packing up. But we managed to get everything in. At first I was looking at the stuff piled up there in the garage and I was thinking, that ain't going to go. But as you know, that's the system that we've got in this van with the seats on rails. We can just push the seats forward like that. And it's great because it gives you a huge boot, doesn't yeah, it? And, it does. and it means that we were able to get everything in, no problem at all. Now, if you watched our last video, you will have noticed the shenanigans that I had with this window. So what I'd done was I had a camera mount, this one stuck to the side window. And of course, when I opened the side window, what happened? The suction mount got stuck. So I've got a new setup this time and my new camera mount has come through. And here it is. I shall let you see it. It's now on the front windscreen. So. I'll take a wee video of this and let you see it. There we are. That's the new setup, as you can see. And it's on the front windscreen. I'm trying it with this little shotgun mic and we'll see how we get on with that. We'll see what the sound quality is like. So, that's that. I certainly was a bit of a numpty. Yep, you very, very much a numpty. Yeah, and so much so, Trish has actually got me a numpty mat. And so, the rules are now, if you do something really silly, you've got to use the numpty mat. And you're stuck with the numpty mat until the other person does something stupid. <laughs> and then you can pass the numpty mat over. So at the moment, I've got the numpty mat for this trip until Trish does something stupid. And then it'll be her turn yep. to get the numpty mat. <laughs> This trip is less than three hours drive for us. It's our second time away this year, but it still feels like we're escaping to freedom. set up. Whoop. Come on Kira. Right, let me show you the pitch. There we go. So we've got the inflatable awning up. Uh, it's the Van Gogh Airway Galley 3 that we've got. Also known as a divorce in a bag. And uh, I'll tell you what, if you've ever had to put one of these awnings up, you'll understand exactly why, because um, I suppose if it's on grass, it's a lot easier, but on this stand, yeah, here's what we had. Have a look at that. You see the gravel down there? Yeah, absolutely rock solid. So you need a proper hammer, and I was at that for a while. I can tell you, a wee wily, hammering away all the way around the ground like concrete, so it was. And we've got some of these really big pegs. Um, you think they would go through anything, uh, but they don't. Bent several of them, but got there in the end. 
and now I'm just going to wait to try and find the dog walk. Oh, here somewhere. Give up. This is a dog walk area. Small. Ah, uh, we were spoilt on our last sight at Yellow Pigs. So it's small, but it'll do. I'm just trimming my muff. Sometimes you'll find if your muff gets a little bit long, you need to just trim it. You can either use this, or you can use a pair of scissors, it's really up to you. But either way, it's good to keep your muff in very good order. Nice and neat and tidy. Because otherwise, what you'll find is, your muff will actually get into the shot. You know, when you're filming, if your muff is above the camera, sometimes you just see a little bit of muff at the top of the shot. You might have noticed that in one or two of these shots. So, the best thing to do, bit of housekeeping on the old muff. Much better. With my excess fur problem taken care of, we settled down for a barbie with some prawns and some scallops. <laughs> mixed in with some chestnut mushrooms, onions and some peppers. It's a bit too cold outside, so we have a table for two at our favourite restaurant, Awnings. Then it's back inside to put our feet up and our paws up and get the kettle on. A nice wee cup of tea or coffee before zipping up for the night. Lovely morning today. A bit too lovely. Very bright, but very cold. It's about six o'clock in the morning, so I can let you see the campsite from the sky before everybody's out their bed. This small road leads into the campsite. The static caravans across the road are not part of Dockray Meadow. That's the reception there. It's a small site, but long and skinny, and I didn't send Midge further along. Maybe I should have, but it's similar all the way along. That's the dog poop and play area. It's very well maintained. And that's our pitch. And even with the awning, we're only taking up about half of it, but then... We're just a wee brune van. And that was the campsite from the skies. But, feet firmly on the ground now, because you can't go to the lakes without going to see one of the lakes. Uh, it's nine o'clock, Trish managed to get out of bed. <laughs> yes. We better Very a long cold. lie. Aye, so that's what we're doing today. We're going to see one of the lakes, and this one is quite close to the campsite. It's called Cogra Moss. Uh, I think this is probably the best day we're going to have here. We're here for a few days, the rain's going to come on, but today we're doing it. And here's the first obstacle. Oh, Kira got through all right. Well done, Kira. Found her own way through, didn't she? Yeah. Matt Kiki. Now this trail just follows the fence and will eventually take us to this Cogra Moss, it's called. That's the lake we're going to. What is that? That's a campsite. 
That's about how much you got. Well, we didn't. When we arrive at campsites, and probably a lot of people are the same, we usually drive around the site about three times, don't we? The walk takes us around the perimeter of a field. Then you cut through a little farmyard path onto this gravelly road. The walk's very well signposted, and although it's uphill all the way, it's just a very slight incline. We picked a great day to do this. It's warming up a bit, so we take this seat and just admire the view. It's just a short walk now along this gravelly path to get to the lake at Cogra Moss. We arrive there at the reservoir and just take a few minutes for a breath and to enjoy the views across the lake. Then we start our walk around the lake in an anti-clockwise direction. We're back, we're back at the wee Brune van and you know, it's funny who you meet sometimes isn't it, in life? It is. So we got back to the campsite and making our way up to the wee Brune van and who do we bump into? Only Dan and Mazzy out of the Travel Trolls. It was absolutely fantastic to meet someone that you watch on YouTube and I know we do YouTube but we just feel like, oh they're a celebrity, let's go see. Uh, it wasn't a too much of a coincidence to be honest. We knew that they were here. We saw the van uh, and we thought let's take a little detour around the site and say hello to Dan and Mazzy. And they were so nice weren't they? Oh they're a fantastic couple. Really really nice. Um, we had a wee chat with them um, what, for about half an hour? It must like have been that? It must have been a good half an hour. Um, <laughs> I had a little bit of banter with Dan. Um, about me thinking about going up to do a little bit of hill walking on Friday. So Dan was pulling my leg a little bit. But, um, aye, well, there's that one there up there. Well, was, why don't I you do the big hill? Go up there. That one's actually bigger. That one looks bigger because it's closer. But yeah. that one is wow. actually bigger. That one's yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't so. know. I, I don't mind walking. I've done a lot of walking in my life. Yeah, yeah. But hills, I just don't see the point because you only have to come back down. Exactly. Again. <laughs> good one, Dan. He's got such a good sense of humour. Yeah. Uh, had a great afternoon. Um, for now, probably filmed enough for today, haven't we? Yeah. Uh, we're going to settle down for the night and have something to eat. Your steak on the barbie. Yeah, my steak on the barbie. And I'll have some salmon. Yeah, sounds good to me. Yeah. That's it for tonight. Start your weekend still to come on the show. We have another. Another tune from Mr. Michael Ball is a good girl.
It's another morning here at the van. Looks like it's going to be quite a good one. It's supposed to be, yeah. So I've already been up and uh, taken this one for our ball play. She's fanatical about it. So we must have been there, I would say, for about 20 minutes. We started off playing in the actual dog area itself, but the ball kept going through that fence. So we found that little strip of grass just at the side and we stood there for about 20 minutes playing that ball. She would have stayed there all day mm -hmm. if she'd had the chance, wouldn't you? I'm sure she would. But our plans for today are actually going to go back up to Cogra Moss, mm -hmm. where we were yesterday, and just have another walk around there. It was so beautiful. We're not going to film that, because you've seen that, but we're going to go back there and really enjoy it again, because it's such a beautiful spot. And yesterday when we were there, I was tempted to go up a hill. I have to say, I was really fancying it. Um, it's a hill called Blake's Fell. Today I think I'm going to take it on. But if we do, I'll save that till the next video. Uh, that was my highlight too, meeting the <laughs> travel trolls. You should definitely, if you haven't for some reason seen their channel, then you should definitely check that out. Yeah. Travel trolls. Everybody knows about those travel trolls. But for us, I think we're going to wrap it up because we're going to be, after Cogra Moss, we're going to be heading up to Dumfries tomorrow, aren't we? Yep. Yeah. Um, a place called Barnsall. We're really looking forward to that. It's a big site. Uh, it's got lots of dog walking available and we'll maybe do a wee tour around Dumfries. Yeah, right, let's do that. That'll be great. So make sure you catch that one. If you did like this video, remember to give us a thumbs up, drop us a wee comment. Yeah. And... I like the comments. Aye, me I like too. The comments. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Ta-da.